Hey everyone, so we're gonna be doing an August favorite. Um, I don't have that many products, but there's several new items that I really, really love that I wanted to show you guys. I know I'm doing it kind of early, but I wanted to do it now and not forget. Because I didn't have a July favorites just because I didn't have that many items that were like new that I use that I really, really love. But I have a few this month, so yeah, just I'll get started. I'm gonna start off with like things that are not actual like makeup items. So the first thing that was my favorite was my Iaruma toner from Lush. This retails for about $10. It's a 3.3 fluid ounce. This is good for normal to dry skin, which is very, very good for me. In the morning, I'll wash my face with my um, Angels on Bare Skin face wash from Lush. If you guys want me to do a video on like my facial routine or whatever, what I use to do my face, let me know. Leave a comment below, either or. Um, but um, yeah, so this is really good because after you I wash my face, I'll spritz it on my face. It's kind of like a refresher. It like wakes me up a little bit more, makes my skin feel really good, and then I'll use a cotton round to just wipe off any excess dirt or makeup that was left behind. So this is like not only a refresher and a little pick-me-up, but it also goes back and actually takes out any extra dirt that you could possibly have on your face from washing it that washing like your your face wash didn't take off so yeah if that makes sense this is one of my favorites again Iaruma water toner from Lush another one of my favorites is this beauty rush lotion and they don't sell this one anymore I think they might sell it when they have their semi annual sale I think this is in holiday scent but this is quite old um, not like old as in I had it forever but this is when they had a semi annual sale and I picked it up it looks like this. It's in lotion with a little bit of shimmer in it. It was full at one point, but now it's not. Um, it has a pump, which I really, really like, so that I could just pump it and go. It's soft, easy. Um, it smells like vanilla, so that's why I'm saying like I'm kind of thinking that it's for um, the holidays. So yeah, but I really, really love this, and they do still have the Beauty Rush collection with other lotions that are still with the swirls with the um, shimmer. I did see that when I went to Victoria's Secret. I didn't pick any up because I want to finish all my lotions now before I buy any more because I have too many. So I really love these. So since they don't have this one, you might be able to pick it up either at an outlet for Victoria's Secret, semi-annual sale, or you can just get a hold of a new fragrance that's from their Beauty Rush line that's in this type of packaging. Might like it. Really love that. Um, definitely for the summer too, because it has shimmer in it, so it give you a little bit of a glowy and it smells really good. My next favorite is my Miami Glow from Jennifer Lopez. Uh, this has been my go-to fragrance for summer. Um, it was full at one point, but I'm getting down, so it's kind of sad. But I really, really do love this. It is the perfect scent for summer, like the perfect. You smell like suntan lotion, beach. Ugh, oh, I love this. Um, it comes with this little thing on it too, which you can actually wear as a bracelet. But I just leave it on there because I think it looks pretty and makes the bottle like look a little bit less um, plain, I guess you can say. But I really, really love this perfume. Okay, now on to brushes. Um, my go-to brushes this month have been my MAC 181 Special Edition. I got this in the holiday collection, I think in 2009. I'm not exactly sure. I want to say 2009. Um, the Special Edition ones are the ones that are like manufactured in an actual factory where they're not like made by hand, I think. That's what the difference is. So um, they are not the same quality but this brush is really really good when you actually get it it's really dense and more compact it's not as like spread out like this but as you continue to use it it um, spreads out so I love like it's kind of like you have to break in the brush I really really love this brush um, I use that for uh, my powder and then to blend anything out such as blush or um, bronzer really love that brush I got it in a set though from the holiday collection so I'm sure they're gonna have them this um, coming December so yeah I'm kind of excited for holiday collections are you are you excited for Mac holiday collections let me know um, I also love this brush for foundation I got my friend actually got me this brush at Walmart it is so cute the um, bristles are pink on the top it's just a black plain handle I do not remember the brand I know it was very inexpensive it was probably like seven dollars max if that um, at first I thought I wasn't going to like this brush because it's very, very, um, I don't know how to say it. I don't want to say loose, but it's not a dense brush. So um, I was like, oh, it's probably not going to apply the foundation well. 
I was totally wrong. This brush is amazing, like amazing. I don't even know how to describe it. This is like my new favorite foundation brush. I do have another brush that I like, that's like this, which I didn't really like from the Essence of Beauty collection. Mm, I really didn't like it. But this one is so much better. Like it perfectly blends everything out. It doesn't leave your face streaky. It gets all the product that you put on there, you get on your face. Your, your brush doesn't absorb it. Like you'll see that you'll see some of the color from the actual foundation obviously but it doesn't absorb your your makeup and like make you have to put more and more of the product on because if you ever have a brush especially uh, what is it the 109 from Mac well I have something similar like it with bare essentials and it's short and stubby it's kind of like the same idea of a kabuki just in a brush form and it absorbs so much of my foundation that it's like I felt like I used to have to apply more and more foundation to actually get the product on to sticking to the brush to get it onto my face with this brush it's not like that whatever product you put on there you are pretty much putting on your face so this actually is really well to like help you use less of your your foundation if, if you should say that so yeah I really like this brush I feel like I'm just going on and I'm kind of like I'm hoping I'm making sense right now if you have any questions feel free to comment below I will answer them for sure um, okay for eyes, I only have one favorite, and it's my, um, I got this a long time ago, so it's gonna suck for you guys who probably want this, but yesterday when I did a video, I uploaded it, it was on my 15 weird tags, I was wearing this eyeshadow, this is from Avon, and it's called Sun Singles, this is a lot like satin taupe in a sense, mm, Woodwink, it's a lot like Woodwink from MAC, so if you had Woodwink from MAC, this is good. I'm going to actually do a tutorial on the look I was wearing yesterday because it was a really easy look and it looks really nice. So, um, yeah, I used this. So, I don't want to go too much into details about this because they don't even sell this anymore. Okay, um, for bronzers, I have a new favorite. It's Tarte. This is actually the, um, the travel size, but I don't really use my makeup that often to want to get full sizes of everything. So, I thought this was perfect. But this is the Tarte Bronzer in Park Avenue Princess. It has some shimmer in it, but I really love this. Um, I'm wearing it today. I don't know if you can tell. My lighting obviously is not that good. But this is so super duper pretty. Like, I've worn it the past three days because it makes me look so tan. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, I look like I have a tan which I don't right now because it's fading. I haven't gone to the pool much. So yes, Park Avenue Princess by Tarte. Really love this. Um, I probably will do a review on that. Okay, so my favorites for like face stuff, like foundation and powders, um, I'm going to talk about my Neutrogena Tinted Moisturizer. I really, really love this. I'll wear this and then here, which is like, brings me on to my next favorite, my um, Fit Me Makeup Powder. This is a good combo if you don't want something heavy on your face. Put on the tinted moisturizer first all over your face and then add on the powder. It gives you this matte look that isn't like you don't have makeup but is something. You know, it gives you a little bit of something. Whereas the foundation looks a little bit more heavy or sometimes cakey, whatever it may be. This is really well just to wear like them two by itself. No concealer, no nothing. Very well. And then I just usually apply the the powder with this brush and yeah so these are a really good duo I really recommend them um, as far as the tinted moisturizer alone no it doesn't really give you coverage it's good that it has SPF in it so it does take care of your skin but doesn't give that much coverage so yeah so if you're going to school if you're a teenager and you are in middle school slash high school because I know that I started venturing out into makeup more in high school um, I would suggest this because when you're so young you have such good skin you don't want to at a young age start adding really really heavy makeup to your skin and then that's not good and then their breakouts their wrinkles over time so you definitely want to check if you're younger um, check out the healthy skin enhancer for um, Neutrogena tinted moisturizer it's good it's a good product um, but again by itself it's not all that good of coverage so you would definitely want to put a powder over it which brings me to this again and this is in 130 buff beige that's the color that I am it it looks like this it's a lot of product i do have to say and then it has a mirror and it had a little um 
powder little puff applicator but i don't know what happened to that um i usually buy these when they're on sale in walgreens for 40 percent off so definitely check out walgreens i think they're actually having a sale this week if it didn't end today um on a couple of products that are 40 percent off so definitely check that out um another and my last final favorite is my maybelline fit me foundation um, in 130 I don't know if I've mentioned this before but I do really love this and I do need to do a, um, I do need to do I do need to do a, a video on I guess my new face um, application routine one not with foundation one with foundation and then one with my tinted moisturizer I think that would be good for people to see um, this is again is in 130 just like the powder I wanted them to be the same so that worked out and um, it's not a very full coverage which I love because some days I don't feel like wearing full coverage. Like when I want full coverage, I'll wear Revlon, Colorstay, um, Photo Ready, one of those two foundations. And I'll wear those more than likely to go out. If I'm gonna be somewhere a longer time, I like to wear those because it lasts longer. As far as this, I like to wear these. This is like my everyday foundation. I really, really love this. It's very inexpensive. And again, check it out when Walgreens has the 40% off. It's even more cheaper. So yeah, those are my favorites guys. Just wanted to do a favorites video because I know a lot of people, well a couple of people have asked me for one and I haven't done it. So that's my favorites. Um, if you have any questions on any of the products that I mentioned in this video, feel free to leave a comment below. I guess I'll show you or tell you a little bit what I'm wearing today. I don't know. Um, see, but I'm just wearing this slouchy shirt. It looks like this. It has X heart X lips. It's really cute. I purchased it from Ross. I'm wearing this necklace that I got at a, um, a store for a dollar. Really cute. I don't. I didn't know if I wanted to wear it if it was too much, but I was like, I'm gonna wear it because I haven't really worn necklaces lately. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, like I've been doing this whole weekend because it's been rainy and the weather has not been good. Um, I did a twist and put it back in a ponytail, in a side ponytail. I'm wearing these earrings that I got in a swap with Ellen for Poppy Baby or Ellen Baby for Poppy. One or the other, always gonna confuse. But her, um, Mac Barbie, I guess that's what you call her. I got this in a swap from her. So I'm wearing these. I have yet to wear these and I got them like last year. Or was it the beginning of this year? It might, hi. It might have been the beginning of this year. Shh. And I'm wearing this ring. I got it Forever 21. These um, bangles and then my um, evil eye bracelet, which I haven't worn in a long time. But I decided to go a little bit accessory crazy today because I don't really wear that many accessories. Like I'll wear earrings, a ring, and then by the end of the day, my ring comes off. So, yeah. But anyways, with that said, I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. Rate, comment, subscribe for more videos and stuff. And again, leave any requests below or inbox me for anything that you guys want to see. That's pretty much it. I'll talk to you love later. Bye.